So, of course, in Abu Dhabi, very controversial Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton was leading the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, was heading for his eighth world championship. It looked almost certain. And then, of course, Nicholas Latifi brought out the safety car having an accident. And then the controversy began when the safety car came in right before the final lap of the Grand Prix. And it turned out it wasn't quite the right thing to do. Max Verstappen would end up capitalising on this, being on softer tyres. And of course, fresher tyres and passing Lewis Hamilton for the lead and the World Championship on the final lap in a thrilling, but again, controversial end to the Formula 1 season. And we have had quite a bit of news regarding this, um, you know, since this controversy happened. Of course, we covered some of it. In the following day or so, Mercedes initially, um, in the following hours of the Grand Prix, they appealed the result. The FIA then rejected it. Mercedes then intended, they announced their intention to appeal that. And then the deadline was the Thursday after the Grand Prix, which was, I think, Thursday the 16th of December, which was, what, four days or so, I think, after the Grand Prix. And then when the day came, Mercedes decided not to appeal. We'll get on to uh, later on whether they should have appealed. But um, let's go through first their appeal statement. So this is what they had to say um, on that Thursday where they decided not to appeal the result of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So they said, Dear F1 community and fans, we left Abu Dhabi in disbelief of what we had just witnessed. Of course... It's part of the game to lose a race, but it's something different when you lose faith in racing. Together with Lewis, we have deliberated carefully over how to respond to the events at the F1 season finale. We have always been guided by our love for this sport, and we believe that every competition should be won on merit. In the race on Sunday, many felt, us included, that the way things unfolded was not right. The reason we protested the race result on Sunday was because the safety car regulations were applied in a new way that affected the race result after Lewis had been in a commanding lead and on course to win the World Championship. We appealed in the interest of sporting fairness and we have uh, since been in a constructive dialogue with the FIA and F1 to create clarity for the future so that all competitors know the rules under which they are racing and how they will be enforced thus we welcome the decision by the FIA to install a commission to thoroughly analyze what happened in Abu Dhabi we 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 will hold the FIA accountable for this process and we hereby withdraw our appeal so basically what they did is you know the FIA announced they were going to investigate and produce a report into the you know the controversial end to that grand prix which we are still waiting i believe on that report from the FIA. But the real reason, I mean, they kind of make out in this statement that the reason they withdrew their appeal was because the FIA promised to, um, you know, they promised to do their own investigation. But that's not really the reason that they did that. The reason that they did that, the reason they did not follow through and appeal the result again after the FIA initially rejected it um, on the Sunday night after the Grand Prix. The reason they didn't go any further is because even if they proved that the way the race ended was wrong and that the safety car, in terms of the regulations, it wasn't used in the correct way, it wouldn't have actually changed anything. The result wouldn't have been any different. Max Verstappen still would have been world champion. And most likely, because they would have had to have gone through the FIA process, most likely, uh, the chances are the FIA are not going to find themselves guilty. And actually, when you look at the rules, which we'll get into in a second, the FIA, technically speaking, within the regulations that you know we have for Formula One, technically speaking, the FIA, or you know Michael Massey, the FIA race director for Formula One, actually did follow the rules even though those rules um again they're a bit a bit of a gray area i guess you could say we'll get into them now so this is article 48.12 of the sporting regulations now this rule gets into when the safety car in regards to 
you know, letting lapped cars unlap themselves. This is the, the regulation that gets into when the safety car should come in in regards to when uh, the lapped cars, you know, do the unlapping process. So it says, if the clerk of the course considers it safe to do so and the message lapped cars may now overtake has been sent to all competitors, any cars that have been lapped by the leader will be required uh, to pass the cars on the lead lap and safety car unless the clerk of the course considers the presence of the safety car still necessary once the last lapped car has passed the leader the safety car will return to the pits at the end of the following lap that right there is the reason mercedes were angry because what should have happened is because michael massey decided wrongly um to let the cars through on the penultimate lap because he decided to do it on that lap what should have happened is the race because it was a penultimate lap the race should have finished under safety car conditions if which i think should have happened he should have let the cars through the lapped cars through the lap before then that final lap that we got would have happened and would have been all fine and there wouldn't have been um, such an outrage i don't think online in regards to the rules and michael massey and the fia but technically speaking he did get it wrong in regards to when the safety car is supposed to come back into the pits and yeah we'll now get into though the other regulation that kind of gives mercedes no real chance of really successfully winning an appeal and changing anything that happened results wise at the abu dhabi grand prix so this is article 15.3 of the sporting regulations and it says the clerk of the course shall work in permanent consultation with the race director the race director shall have overriding authority in the following matters and the clerk of the course may give orders in respect of them only with his express agreement there's other um things that you know the race director has overriding authority on but one of them i think e which was one of them was the safety car so that is the reason the fia rejected the appeal and that's the reason really why mercedes even if they had gone through the fia appeal process that is the reason why they wouldn't have you know won anything in regards to the appeal process because the regulations allow michael massey to do what he did even though yes this rule you know clearly says once the last lapped car has passed the leader the safety car has to return to the pits at the end of the following lap which in that case the safety car should have basically stayed out until the end of the grand prix technically coming in uh, with about two corners to go of the grand prix meaning that no overtaking would have been done because obviously you can't overtake until the start finish line so it would have ended how it was under safety car conditions but with the way the rules are this regulation overrides this regulation because michael massey the race director has overriding authority on matters such as the safety car so technically speaking in terms of the regulations michael massey followed them and did not you know he didn't break the rules necessarily even though i don't actually agree with this regulation because i think it can lead to abuse of power this type of regulation that the race director has overriding authority because the race director you know isn't always going to be right in its use of the safety car and red flags and other stuff so i don't actually agree with this regulation but again when it comes to the actual was it against the regulations technically speaking it wasn't but i think you could still if mercedes you know if they went through with the appeal process i still think despite this regulation allowing michael massey to essentially get away with it i still think mercedes should have followed through with an appeal to prove that what went down was not was not quite right and they shouldn't have just done it for you know just to you know 
uh, you know, do it around the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. But they really, I think, should have gone through the appeal process really to prove a point in terms of Michael Massey and his race directing of Formula One. Because his, you know, his job as race director that he's had since, sadly, of course, Charlie Whiting passed away at the very start of the 2019 season, Michael Massey has not been that good, honestly. He's had plenty of moments where you just think that he isn't quite good enough for this job and he's quite out of his depth, which I do think actually he is out of his depth. Um, we'll probably get onto that at a later, maybe stream or video or whatever. But I think they should have followed through, again, to prove the point that Michael Massey, despite this role, which again, I don't agree with, and I don't think probably... Given what happened in Abu Dhabi, I don't think that many people did probably agree with it. This regulation was clearly not followed. And again, even though Michael Massey has the overriding authority to, to do what he did, the regulations were not followed and Michael Massey did not follow the proper procedure that he should have. Which is why, again, even if it was just to prove a point that Michael Massey did things wrong, and is not competent enough to hold the position of FIA race director. They should have gone through with it just to prove that point, because Michael Massey, this is not just in regards to what happened in Abu Dhabi, but what happened in the previous Grand Prix at Saudi Arabia, what happened at previous races in regards to, um, you know, for example, the Sao Paulo Grand Prix, where he denied the right to review for the Hamilton Verstappen incident, even though we've seen um, other incidents penalised by the stewards for similar things in terms of pushing other cars off the track. You also have that crane incident at the Turkish Grand Prix in 2020, where he let qualifying to start uh, when there was a crane still out on track under wet conditions where someone could have easily spun off and, you know, like Jules Bianchi had gone into the tractor. They should have, again, gone through the process to prove a point that Michael Massey is not good enough for Formula One. And if he is kept, which he is going to be by the looks of it, something, maybe, maybe something bad won't happen, but we're going to have something like this again, where he gets it horribly wrong and brings down the integrity of Formula One, which, of course, we cannot have but Toto Wolf of course had um things to say um I think just after Mercedes announced they were not going to appeal the result of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix he had some stuff to say in regards to what went down so let's get into that now and he this is what he had to say the decisions that have been taken in the last four minutes of this race have robbed Lewis Hamilton of a deserved championship he had a commanding lead on Sunday in Abu Dhabi from the get-go, he won the start and he never gave the lead away again. Robbing him in the last lap of the race is unacceptable. So that's what he thinks. Um, some of the headlines online were Michael Massey robbed Lewis Hamilton, which that's basically what he said. And from their perspective, I don't, um, you know, I, I understand where they're coming from and I, I don't really disagree with them that much because I think Michael Massey, again, despite that regulation bailing him out there of any real um, proper scrutiny in terms of whether he will keep his job as FIA race director with his overriding authority, I still don't think he was in the right to do what he did. Even though, of course, you know what we had on the final lap there with Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton racing wheel-to-wheel -wheel for the championship on the final lap and in the final few corners of the season, that was you know all great and very exciting, but... We cannot deny that the proper procedure was not followed um, in regards to the safety car and lapped cars. Also, Toto Wolf had this to say in regards to a topic that we're going to get onto actually later on, uh, which is Lewis Hamilton. There has been some talk, and again, we'll get onto this later on, this talk, uh, that Lewis Hamilton may not continue in Formula 1. We'll just quickly get into what Toto Wolf has to say. He says, I think as a racer, his heart will say, I need to continue because he's at the peak of his game, but we have to overcome the pain that, is, uh, that was caused upon him on Sunday. Also, because he is a man with clear values, it's difficult to understand what happened. And then the final thing we'll go on to 
is um, actually a statement from the FIA in regards to this, which I thought was quite interesting that we saw um, a few days after the event. And this is a statement from the FIA in regards to what happened. So they say, The 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix has prompted a large number of reactions from the F1 community and from motorsport in general, as well as in the public. The circumstances surrounding the use of the safety car following the incident of driver Nicholas Latifi and the related communications between the FIA race direction team and F1 teams have notably generated... Uh, significant misunderstanding and reactions from F1 teams, drivers and fans, an argument that is currently tarnishing the image of the championship. The following presentation of a report regarding the sequence of the ev of events that took place, the FIA president proposed to the World Motorsport Council that a detailed analysis and clarification exercise for the future with all relevant parties will now take place. When it comes to this statement, um, I mean, some of the stuff they say in terms of, I mean, the biggest headline, I guess, from this statement is them saying that the reaction and misunderstanding from the public and the, you know, fans, teams, drivers is tarnishing the image of the championship. Whilst that is true, the FIA are responsible for that tarnishing because of, again, that role the way it is where the race director can have the overriding authority. But I think in regards to Michael Massey, Michael Massey has proven before the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix that he is not good enough to hold that role and is not able to consistently apply <clears throat> the regulations in Formula One as, as race director. So I, I think despite them stating the obvious it's actually them who have done the tarnishing you know the reaction from teams drivers and fans i mean some of the reaction from some of the some certain fan bases definitely is not called for and is just way over the top but most of the reaction is you know justified so it's the fia who need to improve on this and they need to find someone in my view um, better for the race director role who has one more experience and secondly who can apply the regulations consistently so there is no bickering that we've seen for example this season in regards to Mercedes and Red Bull and the championship fight and other incidences in the past but on reflection of this whole incident I think again Mercedes they should have appealed even if it wouldn't have changed anything just to prove the point that Michael Massey did the wrong thing and that he is not competent enough for the for the role of race director because now that Michael Massey has essentially got away with this Michael Massey will mess up again we will have another incident like this where Michael Massey does not properly enforce the regulations it's gonna happen again and when it happens again something better be done about it because michael massey is not competent enough for his role as race director of formula one and even though i believe that max verstappen over the course of the season was the better driver and i believe over the course of the season deserved to beat lewis hamilton to the championship in regards to the final race what happened at the end wasn't right i think people can agree with that i don't think anyone is going to sit here and say you know nothing was wrong and everything was absolutely brilliant i think definitely everyone can agree that something you know in terms of the regulation something wrong definitely happened and hopefully the fia you know published their report soon hopefully lessons are learned but with michael massey still as race director i fear that that is probably not going to happen